It's time for our reaction to season 11, episode 7 of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Dean, are you a big fan of 7 uh, Eleven? I am. I went there. I, oh, I, I feel like I did that joke on <laughs> season 7, episode 11. Dean, are you Hendo. a fan of the convenience store? No. I did go to a convenience store this morning, actually. It's 7 Eleven. So I was at 7-Eleven this morning, right? I've done that joke before. Thank you for your answer. Moving on. I went there this morning. You pumped for episode 7? To be honest, I just want a 7-Eleven coffee now. Too bad. All right. All right. I say all right. All right. Well, I said your seven line, so do you want to say all right? Let's, say, Let's do, do it. it. <laughs> Ooh, very early. A very specific <laughs> time. He's the best lawyer you can afford. Yeah, Billy. Oh, more Pondy. Wow. Yeah, Billy, you got to relax, okay? Uncle Jack and I... This is a... Uncle Jack! This is a part two. I got something with this bird theory that's going to blow I, the cool I don't, I, No, I don't think we should pursue this bird. Yeah, please don't. Look well versed in bird law. Pondy, keep your eye on Who are these people? The next cases. Yeah, I mean, that's <laughs> normally what happens. What is that? Is that, is that drugs, that. Frank? Yeah. No, dude. Don't bring drugs in the court. I got to have the drugs here to keep them. That guy just came in. He did. He definitely did. <laughs> How you feeling? You good? You do your homework? You yeah. know your talking points? Yeah, I'm good. See who's sitting there? Yeah, I did see who's sitting there. This is your big day, dude. Mapoil suing Ponderosa? Oh, there you go. It's huge. It's like the trial of the century. Ah, oh, I'm guessing he's suing him because of his eye. Oh, really? Yeah. There's got to be a way to get this court to let me out of my alimony payments. I mean, have you guys seen Maureen? Well, the woman has gone almost full cat. Oh, <laughs> oh the eyes. Oh. So I'm going to talk to the judge, get him to throw it on the docket. This sucks. Cat people are scary. Except for Catwoman. <laughs> She's awesome. Uncle Jack's just got you here handling his papers for him because he can't do it because he's wearing those goddamn big hands. Oh, oh. my God. That's like uh, everything everywhere all at once. <laughs> Hot dog fingers. I'm going to enjoy every second of it. Uh, no, it's going to go fine. Wow, there's a lot going on in this episode already. It's hardly the trial of the century. Everything's going to go just great. No, you yeah. Yep. All right. Trial of do, you need, do you need to catch up on, on half this shit? No, no, no. I remember half of it. Well, I'll catch up on the other half. The McPoyles are suing Ponderosa because... The eye. Yeah, because of the eye. Yep. From when? When did that happen? Uh, it was discovered in the finale of uh, the two seasons ago. True, but from the wedding massacre. And hello to you. Some... Yes! <laughs> wow, there are so many people in this. What's the Jew lawyer doing here? Not Jewish. And even... <laughs> <laughs> I meant that as a compliment. Didn't sound like it. Everybody knows Jews are the best lawyers. I can't... Is that true? Where is Liam? Well, he actually got pink eye in his one good eye. <laughs> In truth, someone named Doc McPoyle attempted to put some sort of heat. Doc McPoyle, nice. Healing milk in his pink eye and it got infected, but that doesn't matter. Oh. You'll be dealing with me today. Do you think that Doc McPoyle was Frank? Jack Kelly, lawyer. Good to see you again. Wow, those hands are huge. Are those fake hands? <laughs> you know what? Good luck with all of that today. But those two were buddies. They were, but now he's what got his happened? massive hands. Did you see his hands? They're beautiful. <laughs> I think we should settle. What? Jesus. <laughs> We have McPoyle versus Ponderosa seeking damages for the loss of an eye in the form of a... It's like a Judge Judy type court. $200. <laughs> <laughs> and I just uh, wanted to say I'm very excited to be here. I do a state law. Oh my God, is, is that, that, is that, that Reginald Vell Johnson? It yeah. is. Uh, Charlie Kelly, co-counsel, a background in bird law. <laughs> and, and a big fan of black judges too. Stop touching me. Wow. All I need are the facts to this case. I have a very long day ahead of me. Yeah, it looks like he's got a lot going on. Yeah. Are you gonna bang the uh, yeah, yeah. the the hammer? Yeah. We... <laughs> hey, <laughs> loves it. Oh, all right. You might even refer to his family as inbred. Very creepy. <laughs> That's a nice way of putting it. And the sordid lot of degenerates he associates with. Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Cost my client his marriage, ruined my first, now my second one is teetering. What? I'm gonna sit down. What was that? They just do this to me. I think he's got a personal vendetta against them. Do we know about his marital issues? I don't think so. Uh, one, <laughs> Liam McPoyle has a. <laughs> two, my client is a. That's great sound effects. <laughs> three, he is innocent. <laughs> Deandra Reynolds, you were the one that told the police that Bill had. She can do an accent. Yes. You were the one that told the police that Bill had spiked the punch with bath salt. That's correct. Ah. But you didn't actually see him do it, did you? No, I did not. Is it possible that, given the traumatic nature of the evening, that you don't remember the evening all that well? Yes, that's correct. <laughs> you got me. 
You remember me possibly as a man with small hands. <laughs> I'm not wearing a tie at all. <laughs> Are you just going to talk about your hands for a while? No more questions for the witness. I like the Hulk gloves. Yes. Deandra. Here we go. Here is the statement that you gave to police. Bill did it. Destroy them. He's guilty. 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 Uh. Pretty damning evidence. Yeah. Have you ever had sex with Bill before? Wow. Yeah. Yes, sure. Because <laughs> we were lovers for a little, a little One bit. One of his prostitutes, right? Wow. Wow. Um, I have a receipt for a, a receipt mink coat. Recent. Oh, okay. The coat was not made of mink at all, but rather made of muskrat. Muskrat? Ugh. Are you kidding me, Bill? Okay, you know what? Fine. He spiked it. <gasps> you gotta throw this testimony out. Yep. He spiked it, and then he tried to bribe me. Uh, oh. Do you know what perjury is? <laughs> You know, I feel like I'm not being utilized properly. Well, that's because you don't have anything, so you're not being utilized. Yeah, what do you have to do? Yeah, but what if I get to deliver the bombshell? Oh, Ooh, that'd be good, actually. Yep, yeah, what? You guys don't have a bombshell? <laughs> I'll find one for you. I'm going to do like a hero cop Mark Furman thing, uh, Mark and Furman. then sort of transition. Hmm. Yeah, I wish you would do none okay. of it. All right, I wish cool. you'd do none I'm of it, man. Okay. Mark Furman, eh? You know who that is? Sounds familiar. OJ Kess. Yeah. I'm going to say I found some bullshit online that proves that lawyer's Jewish. Oh. Bombshell. What? Laughing stock. <laughs> yes. Right? Yes. Do you reckon he jerks off with those hands? Yes. Into them. I bet he can't get hard without them. Do you reckon he hires prostitutes to put the hands on? No. You think D's one of them? No. Maureen, you are the... Hell no. Oh, God. Meow. Mm. Your Honor, nothing represents the... <laughs> as I transition from woman to cat, I must insist on being referred to as a cat. This is uh, ahead of its time. Yeah. She's not a cat, Your Honor. <laughs> ah. If the witness wants to consider herself a cat, I will allow it. Wow. How is this relevant? Well, it's... <laughs> the attack had a psychological impact on all the parties then. What is she wearing? Do you see what's going on here? <laughs> this is crazy. Uh, sit down. I'm going to approach the bench. No. Can I just approach it real fast? Absolutely not. Just real fast. Now, surely you wouldn't force a man to pay alimony to a cat, right? So motion to establish me not having to pay alimony anymore. I will not allow that. Okay. Well, it's not a bad argument. Eh. Sit down. Now you don't allow something. Now you don't allow something. <laughs> you go allow all this. You don't allow that. You know, but you don't allow. Okay. Ooh. Okay, good. I'm good. I hold myself in <laughs> contempt. I mean, he had a good argument then. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. And I snuck Ryan up in the trunk of my car. Is he holding drugs? Yes. And I had him in the trunk of the car on account I didn't want to sit with him because he's gross. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> if there's someone to point the finger at, it would be his brother. Whoa. <laughs> oh my God, nobody look. Nobody. <laughs> nobody look. Nobody look. Wow. How many takes you reckon that took? So it's not crazy for me to ask you this. <laughs> I'm not Ryan. I'm Lion. Lion McPoyle. What? Why are you on the stand? Because you said his brother and threw your big fake hand at me. <laughs> Ryan's at home with Liam taking care of his infected eye. Okay. Uh, uh, All right. Let's uh, st strike that uh, hand comment from the record. That's what he cares about. Do you happen to know if Ryan stabbed his brother in the eye? Oh, yeah. I know. He totally did it. Wow. Uh, that's hearsay. Yeah, Ryan stabbed Liam. I totally saw it. Oh my God! We won! <laughs> <laughs> Who did the stabbing doesn't matter, Your Honor. They were all still drugged on Bill Ponderosa spiked milk. So just to be clear, you've proven my case. You lose. Mm. Nah, I don't know about that. <sighs> I can't follow any of this. <laughs> I got the bombshell. I feel like they, the others, have the bombshell and the Hoyles are going to show up at the end. Mm. They have to show up, don't they? Yes. I've recently been informed. Here we go. There's no way he could have drank the milk that Bill spiked. He was sober when he attacked his brother. Bill is innocent. Case closed. Kaboom. <laughs> <laughs> Again, speculation. I did it, Black Judge. Uh, I did it. Mr. Mr. McDonald, how did you come up on this? McDonald. Oh, I banged Margaret McPoyle. <laughs> I had her write it down. Hmm. You carry a picture of mother with you at all times, don't you? Do you mind showing that to the court? <laughs> Your Honor. <laughs> that mute bitch lied to me for sex! Ugh. Abramowitz! 
your great grandma. What kind of court is this? That makes you a dirty liar because you are Jewish. Wow. Uh. That came out kind of bad. I that. <laughs> This dirty liar is a Jew! No, <laughs> stop doing that. <laughs> Calm down. Look, as a great Johnny Cochran once said, if the glove doesn't fit, give up. That's not. <laughs> <laughs> Let me do my bird thing. Okay, Bill, I, I want to do the bird thing. Can we just oh, do that's it? That's great. No, let's do the bird uh, thing. You're in the middle of a court. Okay. Uh, Jesus, son, what'd you cut this with? Oh my god. I'm gonna go steal another set of my golf clubs, you piece of shit. You. This Damn. Birds on three! Birds on one, two, three! three birds. birds! Those are just one ridiculous, like man. Three hands. It's like three I love when Charlie's the strike guy. Yeah. On it, you will find a bird. A Pocono swallow, to be more accurate. Okay. Can live as long as 80 to even 85 years. Much like a parrot or some of the more resilient coastal gulls. <laughs> You're on. <laughs> coastal gulls? Where is this going? I don't know. <laughs> Your Honor, I can assure you that this will be our final argument. Well, if it's going to help end all of this madness, I'll allow it. So 200 bucks. Now, there was... Oh, you got the music. A one Mr. Royal McPoyle. Royal McPoyle. And we all know that according to bird law, it's three strikes. <laughs> Ryan McPoyle didn't attack Liam. Royal did. And Lion was lying about Ryan atta <laughs> attacking Liam to protect Royal from the chair. <laughs> Perhaps some sort of small bird guillotine. I wouldn't understand the physics of it. I'm not an executioner. I'm just the best goddamn bird lawyer in the world. <laughs> Objection, Your Honor. There's no royal McPoyle. Perhaps. <laughs> I call Pappy McPoyle to the stand. Pappy McPoyle. Whoa. Raccoons and oysters dancing in the head of a pin with the angels. <laughs> they are. Is it in his hat? Has to be. But it's quite all right. I don't have any further questions. Oh, it's. <laughs> Didn't the bailiff ask everyone to remove their hats? I was wondering why he said remove your hats. <laughs> why don't I just. <laughs> Boom! Your Honor, this is Mr. Belkemeyer. He's a professor. What? And you would understand this Pocono swallow quite well, wouldn't you? Yes, I do. Then please ask it if it attacked Liam! Ask what? Mr. Mayer, I would like you to please talk to the bird and say, He was so close. Oh, he was really close. Well, I okay. need you to okay. communicate with the bird. This <laughs> is very important. And I need to... <laughs> it's a very still bird. Well, this is a bit embarrassing, Your Honor. Perhaps this man has lied about his credentials. <laughs> I am familiar with a little bit of pigeon. Perhaps I can... Oh, God. You're losing it. Mm. Okay, Your Honor, this is- I swear to God if that works. Your Honor, you've got a man speaking to a bird, and yet you refuse to rule on me having fair alimony to this what cat! Is, what is- <laughs> this, this is ridiculous. Okay, what is happening? And this- I said order! Oh, wow. This is not a pigeon! Pay it off, Marty! Attack her. Fly, my pet! Fly! Just Oh, no. Is she gonna eat it? <laughs> so he's gonna have a messed up face. A la cricket now, is he? I have never seen such a mockery made of this courtroom. You people. <laughs> I am throwing this case out. Bailiff, next case. All right, what's next? Dennis. We have Morgan State delivery versus the proprietors of one Patty's pub. Oh, that's us. <laughs> Oh, hell no. <laughs> uh -uh. Why didn't the McPoyle show up? I just love Charlie when he's he's on, you know? Very good episode. It was a very good episode. This, this season's been really good. Why do people shit on this season? I don't know, man. It's been solid. You YouTube commenters, you. Go on. <laughs> Period. Ah, I see. All right, we've three episodes left of this season. Wow, flying through it. Thanks for checking out our reaction to episode seven. Episode eight is up next, and if we've done that, it's going to be right there for you. Bye.